What up guys, su compa Giovanni, welcome back to the Requintazo Podcast Donde hablo de cosas que me ayudan a mejorar como persona y negociante Alright, so in yesterday's podcast I gave you guys the secret formula that I use To be able to make it playing music Because that's how I am, I'm not fucking famous, I don't have fucking a whole bunch of followers I don't, I'm not part of a label, I don't play with major artists If you see my other vlogs, my other videos, I play with the banda, local banda, and that's all I do. If you haven't seen that other video, I recommend you watching because I give you the exact formula that you could use too to be able to do the same thing. And I truly believe that if anyone follows this formula, it doesn't matter what your passion is. It could be music like mine. It could be fucking drawing. It could be anything. If you follow your passion and use this formula, you too can make money doing what you love. And you won't be stuck at a fucking job that you hate. You won't have to tolerate doing something that doesn't bring value into your life. And in that previous video, I mentioned that you have to make an offer to the few people that are following you. And maybe one of the questions you may have is, what can I create? Because that's one of the questions I had when I first started. I was like, what can I create? Like, I don't, I don't have any special skills. I dropped out of college. What can I create? And what I want you to realize is that everyone has special skills. Even if you don't realize it, like the dumbest thing could be a special skill that you have. For example, there's this dude that I learned from. His name's Russell Brunson. And he's like a master of sales. So if you're interested in business, search him up. But his first business was teaching people how to make potato guns. So basically he would teach you how to buy the stuff where to buy the stuff and he'll teach you how to make this gun that shoots potatoes and he managed to sell that online and that's how he made a living for a short time if he could teach people how to make potato guns and earn a living doing that then you could do anything my first thing I created a curso teaching people how to play guitar you don't need a huge budget you don't need to know how to edit videos you don't need high quality gear all you need is your phone. Like if you have something you could teach to the world, bust it out, use your phone, record it, make a series of videos that help people go from point A to point B and sell that. You, that could be your offer, teaching people something you know. And the way to market that or the way to get people to buy that is basically uploading free videos on all platforms like YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, teaching people. like. People think that if I give away my information for free, then people won't buy it no more. And that's false. Because even though I had this curso, I was still teaching people how to play for free. I used to make tutorials, guitar tutorials. And even though I was teaching for free, people would still buy the curso. Like if you give people, people will give back. All right, so I want you to do something right now. I want you to bust out your phone and start recording and teaching the world what you know start teaching them the skills you know, start talking about your experiences, start talking about your struggles, start teaching the lessons that you learned through your own unique life. You are enough. You don't need to be famous. You don't need a whole bunch of followers. You don't need to be special. All you have to do is help people out. So that's only one thing that you could do. You could create a digital product, a digital offer. The second thing you could do is create an actual offer, an actual physical product, which was my second venture, which was the Quintazo Strings, a physical product. And basically, everybody is already part of a group. If you love to do something, ask yourself, what do I do in my free time? What do I do when I'm not stuck at work? What do I do when I'm not stuck studying or going to school? For me, it was music. I'm always playing. I'm always playing guitar. I like. I still go to tocadas because I like it. Music is my passion, so that's what I focused on. And, and how you find a product for your niche, you don't, again, you gotta make that switch in your mind. You can't be like, how can I get money? You have to be like, how can I give to people? How can I help these people in my area out? And for me, one of the problems I found was like, I played, I played Requinto, Serreño. And I was like, why hasn't anyone made a special pack for this guitar? So I made it and the answer was so simple. Once I thought about it, I was like, why hasn't someone made this? And instead of 
being stuck with that idea, I actually made it. So first, look around, find products that people are already buying and try to improve them even if it's just by a little bit. And once you find that idea, now the question is how do you make it? And the answer is really easy too because there's a whole bunch of manufacturers that that's their job. They create products for other people and that's how they make their money. You don't have to own, you don't have to have a whole bunch of money, you don't have to have a factory. The first place is Google. Basically once you have your idea, search up, for example, you want to make a hat, search up hat manufacturers. If you want to make, like for example, some people make supplements, search up private label supplements, supplement manufacturing. And all these manufacturers are gonna pop up. And that's how you can find US manufacturers. Another website I recommend where you can find a whole bunch of manufacturers, it's basically like the Amazon of manufacturers is Alibaba.com. And you can find a whole bunch of manufacturers that could make basically anything, any idea you have. You just hit them up and uh, they'll make it for you. Hope this podcast helps you out, helps you create your first offer, your first product product to the first people that follow you. And um, yeah, I'm going to end this podcast right here. Hope it helps you out. Please share it and I'll see you in the next podcast.